Hi guys, Raisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Mukha akong show pao. Today we are going to do an old school haul. As in, makeup haul. Ang dami ko nang nabiling makeup. Actually, yung iba dito baka mag-overlap na. Ang dami ko nang hindi na haul. First off is yung mga sinend mo na sa akin. Tatlong product from Althea Korea. So previously, naglabas si Althea Korea ng Althea Korea Tall Velvet Powder. It's the yeah, setting powder na... Uh, nirelease nila by, by their by their name. So, recently, nag-release naman sila ng Althea Bare Essentials. And ito yung uh, three basic steps. Yung cleansing, moisturizing, toning, and moisturizing. Contour cleanser. I don't know why it's called contour cleanser. Natry ko na to. It is very cooling. Hindi ko alam kung mauna to or mauna lalabas yung aking vlog. Pero dun sa vlog ko na yun is nagamit ko na ito. Meron siyang konting pepperminty, peppermint feeling sa kanya and meron siyang konting parang uh, siyang may scrubbing effect siyang ganap. And then after the cleansing meron, tayo, meron din silang toner. It's the primer water ang tawag. It says it has snow lotus and dew drops in it. And gusto ko yung amoy nito. Amoy siyang perfume. Yeah, this is good stuff. Ang maganda dito, hindi siya tulad ng ibang toner na alcohol based na mahapde sa mukha. Hindi ako pala toner kasi ayoko yung ganong feeling. But since this is a nice mild and gentle toner nagagamit ko siya ng bongga so far so good and then next is the fixer cream this is the last step sabi dito meron siyang trehalose green tea and baobab tree uh, napansin ko naman dito is yung kanyang scent is amoy siyang spa it's like a treat for your skin it smells like spa yung pagpapasok ka sa spa na amoy peppermint do ganun yung amoy niya so i really i also like it i i also love this one also included sample sizes right here. The cleanser, may toner, and may moisturizer. I'm going to include these packs sa uh, picture giveaway natin. And then, nag-include din sila ng parang coaster na marble. As in, bongga siya. Ang ganda niyang tignan ng bonggang bongga. And then, may Althea sa likod. I think ito yung mga pang picture-picture, pang Instagram and stuff. And meron din silang binigay na mirror. It's actually a durable mirror like that. Susunod naman na na-receive ko is si Mamala, Mamala, Mamala Virgin Bio White Plus Plus Plus. Wala siyang BHA, walang alcohol, and walang AHA. Kasi lang siya for whitening, pwede rin siyang mag-smoothen ng chicken skin and um, thick underarm hair para mag-lighten yung underarm mo. Minsan kasi darken lang siya dahil sa buhok, I mean dahil sa roots. So, yon And then, ina-apply ko rin to sa bikini line and sa tuhod and sa... Uh, shoulders, so, uh, shoulders sa siko, ano ba yan? Yung sabi ni Angela, si Angela Maureen, siya yung nag-send sa akin ito. Please buy from authorized sellers, kasi siguro may mga nag nagbebenta na ng fake na ganito. I will link everything below, yung kanyang Facebook page and yung kanyang Shopee account. Okay siya as deodorant, hindi ako hindi ako bumabaho within the day, hindi ako pinagpapawisan ng bonggang bonggas. As deodorant, okay siya. As for the whitening effect, wala pa akong masay, so we'll just, we'll, we're, we're still going to test this out. Ito naman. Hindi pa ako nakakagawa ng swatches nito. Pero recently released Stay Matte. Super Stay Matte Ink from Maybelline. Meron silang 10 shades currently. And excited ako kasi siguro na magre-release sila ng mas nudes na shades. So, ito yung swatches na ginawa ko. Yan. Pinrepare ko na. Nag-glare sa aking ring light. So, yung three main nudes sa kanila is... Yan. Si Loyalist, si Dreamer, and si Lover, I think. So, yan. Uh, favorite ko is itong si Loyalist. Yung suot ko ngayon. So, ito yung nudes nudes, nudes. Yung pinaka-nude sa sampung shades. Pero, meron din tayo ng mga Vava Boom. Like, here, si Voyager, si Escapist. Hindi ko alam kung paano basahin. Pero, hindi siya black. Pero, para siyang super plummy, plummy violet. And then, we have purples in here. And then, sa gitna yung ating mga reds and oranges and pinks. Mapa-nude, mapa-bold. Meron kayong siguradong magugustuhan dito. Hindi ko lang alam kung pag sinamahan mo na siya ng like bulalo or something yung ma greasy na masabaw. We're going to test that out. Kailangan natin kumain <laughs> with this on the lips. So, yeah. Thank you Maybelline for sending this and I'm going to do another video dedicated for these. I'm going to swatch them sa aking lips. And yeah, abangan yun. Ito naman yung mga items na binili ko na. First is this um, Bella brushes right here. Sobrang frustrated ako sa Anne Klutz brushes. Sobrang bilis niyang naubos. Hindi ko siya naabutan. And I'm so excited to try them out. To the point na bumili na lang ako ng dupe niya. I mean, kamukha niya. So these are the Bella brushes. Yung white brushes nila na merong grayish ganap na ganyan. For your softness, okay na okay siya. And nung na, ito, nahugasan ko na to guys. So, it's um, ready to use na itong mga to. Pero hindi ko pa nagamit. Uh, nung hinuhugasan ko sila, wala namang fallout. Walang nalalagas na buhok or something. So, I have really high hopes na okay yung quality nito. 
Binili ko siya with the pouch kasi mas mahal yung with pouch. Parang 950 yung with pouch and yung walang pouch is 850 lang. And binili ko siya with the pouch. Sa Shopee, I will link it below yung um, reseller ng Bella. Bella PH. Bella brushes and something. Pati yung mga sponges niya. I will link below the seller. And okay na okay tong pouch kasi meron siyang lining sa loob na ganap. So hindi siya cheap cheap pouch. Hindi siya kagad masisira na pouch. Ang ayoko lang is yung zipper. I hate zippers like this. Kasi tignan nyo, oh. Hirap niyang i-close. Lima for face, I think. Ito, hindi ko alam kung for face siya kasi wala siyang number or wala siyang um, nakasulat na kung para saan siya. But, I I think I'm going to use this as my highlight brush. So, sabihin na natin. Kaso kasi meron silang fan brush. And fan brushes usually ginagamit naman siya sa highlight din. So, I'm going to assume na merong lima for face and merong lima for the eyes. So, yan. Meron ditong blending brush. Merong uh, naka-angle pa ganun. <laughs> Ay, hindi ko alam yung mga pangalan. Meron din itong shader brush. Merong eyeliner brush. Or yung pang kilay. Meron ka for foundation. The black, parang flat kabuki something. Meron ka for blush. Meron ka for powder. This is actually the perfect size. Para sa pag-blend out ng powder. You have here also this angled kabuki na pwede for contour and something. And of course, the fan brush. Ganda lang ng aesthetic niya. Ang ganda ng kulay. And kamukha niya yung brushes ni Anne Klutz. Again, binili ko to kasi sobrang frustrated na ako dun sa brushes ni Miss Anne. So, I'm going to definitely compare them dun sa brushes ni Miss Anne Klutz kapag na gray stock at kapag nakakabili ako. So, sabi niya, magkaiba raw naman sila ng brushes. So, we're going to compare both. Kasi mas mura yung brushes ni Miss Anne. 500 lang yun. Ito, nasa 850. So, next are these. These are the new Wet n Wild the Reformulated Palette. So, meron ako nung... Previously, meron ako nung Comfort Zone na Luma. I'm going to get it away lang. Previously, ganito yung itsura ng kanilang 8-pan um, uh, palettes. Yung malalaking palettes nila. They, o they only have 8 pans comfort zone and ito yung bagong comfort zone. It's reformulated pero hindi ko pa sila natatry pero based on the reviews mukhang okay yung formulation nila as in parang high end quality daw. So this is the new um, comfort zone palette compared to this one. Meron na siyang 10 pans. Ayan. Mas maliliit yung pants niya pero mas marami. And dito kasi puro siya shimmer, wala siyang transition shade. And siguro nakinig siya, nakinig ang Wet n Wild sa mga sa mga request at naglagay sila ng mga transis, transition, transition matte shades. So yung dalawang dulo is transition and yung um, eight pants na maliliit sa gitna is kamukhang kamuka ng shades ng previous comfort zone. And yung dalawa pang palettes, Rosé in the Air Yan. It's a dupe for the modern renaissance. Again, kung gusto nyo gawan ko ng um, dedicated video dito sa tatlong mga to and yung dupes nila and yung kanilang quality, just comment it down below and pwede rin tayong gumawa siguro ng tutorial. I don't know. As you can see, meron siyang rose, uh, rose colors and um, warm tones right here. Very, very, very delicious colors. Mahilig ako sa mga ganyang shades. And of course, it's a not a basic peach. Ito naman is... Um, dupe naman daw para kay Too Faced uh, Peach Palette. Peach, peachy palette yun. Yung parang ganun daw siya. So, it has nice, warm, peachy tones in here. And merong isang pop of blue na weird kasi nilagyan nilang ganun. But, I'm really very excited para sa shade na to. So, excited ako sa shade na to. It, it looks very, very promising. Another palette. This is the Chocolate Gold. Too Faced Chocolate Gold. Collector ako ng Too Faced palettes what it looks like. It's available sa Sephora PH, pero hindi ko siya binili doon kasi mas mahal siya doon. If I were you guys, try nyo sa Shopee kasi maraming resellers doon ng mga palettes na mas mura compared sa Sephora natin. So, para makatipid kayo. So, ito mas maganda yung mirror niya. No? Mas, mas full yung mirror niya. Unlike the other Too Faced palettes na medyo may konting ganap sa gilid na lumiliit yung mirror. So, puro siya shimmer. So, meron ka lang dito 1, 2, 3, 4 na transition shades and um, setting shade. So, yun. Meron kang apat na mattes and all the rest are shimmers. They have the traditional um, chocolate scent. So, hindi ko alam kung na-feature ko na siya sa last haul. But anyway, I'm going to show again kasi hindi ko na maalala. So, it's the Dream Team um, uh, collaboration of Kathleen Lights with Colourpop. So, meron silang tatlong shade dito. It's the Dreamy, the Rev, and Moon Child. Meron siya, silang dalawang ultra satin lip and merong isang ultra glossy. Nabili ko yung set for 1,100 if I'm not mistaken. 1,100, 1,099 na sa ganun lang siya. And of course, I also bought the Dream Street Palette from Kathleen. Una-una, paborito ko yung formula ng mga Colourpop palettes. Sobrang creamy and sobrang buttery and they blend easily. 
So, okay na okay siya para sa mga beginners kasi mura lang naman yung mga palettes nila. This is what the palette looks like. Again, meron siyang kakulay ni Rev dito. And meron siyang pops of blue. Merong silver. We're going to do a try it. Try, try on, try on something. Last three. Yan. Tatlo na lang yung meron tayo sa palette. So, it's the holiday palette of Colourpop. All I see is magic. This is what the palette looks like. Yung isa, meron kang 12 pans. Ito, I think, meron kang 16 pans. It's really nice. Hindi ko nilalapit, guys, kasi nag-glare yung ating, ano, nakakasilaw. Ayan. Pero meron kang um, neutral shades right here. Meron pops of blue. I think duo chrome itong blue na to. So, I'm excited to use that. Meron ding gold shimmers and um, all na ganap-ganap dyan. Ito, hindi ko alam kung ibibenta ko na lang ba siya or gagamitin ko siya. Kasi, parang ang dami ko ng shades na ganito. I'm excited to use. Hindi ko pa rin ito nagamit pagka laki-laki yung palette niya. This is the Morphe 39A. 39A palette. This is what it looks like. So, I'm sure nakita na ninyo ito randomly sa sa YouTube kasi ang daming gumagawang ang daming gumagawa ng tutorial dito pero ito sobrang kumpleto ng shades na to guys and palagi ko nag rebranding ang Morphe and nag improve daw yung quality. Ito mukha lang siya yung normal pero ito yung normal size. Ito sobrang malalaki siya para siyang Juvia's Place for the transition shades kompleto from cool tone, warm tone. Dito yung mga cooler shades like the blues and the greens. Dito naman sa taas yung mga warmer. Laki-laki nito. This is a complete palette. No, kung meron kayong salon, kung nagbabalak kayong maging makeup artist, I I suggest you invest on palette palettes like this kasi sobrang kompleto niya. And then last for this haul are from Skin Potions. Ito ay binili ko. Ang tagal ko nang tinitiktikan ng ano nila, ng booth nila sa SM. So meron sila lang booth sa gitna ng mall. And ang tagal ko nang tinitingnan ng booth nila. Palagi ako nakikita ni Ate, palagi niya akong tinatanong, "Ma'am, ano po 'yun?" And then finally kahapon, 30% off everything. I think Yes, this is a this is a time. Ito na yung time para bumili ako. So, bala ko sana mag full face. Pero guys, uh, ito lang. Kapag nag full face, I am very skeptical on buying the pang kilay kasi hindi ako pala kilay. So, ang nangyayari is naiipon lang siya sa collection ko and nasasayang lang. So, I I I I don't buy pang kilay. And second, yung mascara because I have really short lashes. Pero yun, hindi ko na hindi ako nakabili ng mascara and I kind of regret it kasi sana pala binili ko na yung mascara. Cute ng branding. First off, ang cute ng branding ng Skin Potions. It's really, it's a, it's a cute brand. It reminds me of Happy Skin. Parang ganun yung, yung branding nitong, nitong Skin Potions. So, I bought the palette. Nag-iisa lang to. It's called the Jet Setter Palette. So, ganito yung itsura niya. If you are a neutral gal, this is the palette for you. And hindi ko pa nun na-try. Hindi ko pa alam kung powdery ba siya. Pero yung git ng shades, guys, they're all shimmer. Git na in this one. They're all shimmer. Yung sa baba, halos um, parang ano siya, parang pang crease. Yung pang, pang, pang darken ng crease and all that. Yung sa taas naman yung transition shades natin. So, you will definitely get a full look using this one. Kasi merong black, meron ding setting shade right there. Favorite shade ko dito is yung Manila. Good thing. Binangalan nila sa Manila sa Pilipinas. So, it's the purple shade right here. And this will, I think, will be the the star of this palette. Kasi yung iba, halos pare-pareho siya. I am not big on neutral palettes. I don't really dwell on the neutrals kasi mahilig ako sa colors, especially when I'm filming. Pero for an everyday, ganito lang naman talaga yung hahanapin mo. You will get a good bang for the buck. This is worth 1,400... 459, 449, 400, less than 1.5. Less than 1.5 lang siya, but more than 1.4. So, nasa ganun yung price niya regular. Pero nakuha lang siya for 1,022 pesos kasi nga 30% off. So, I suggest abangan ninyo yung mga sales na ganun kasi sobrang sulit. Parang pa silang isang palette. It's the Glow Highlighting Palette. Kamukha siya ng ABH or yung, um, yung Colourpop pa, uh, Highlighting Palette na merong anim na bilog. If you are familiar. So, meron siyang ganun. Pero hindi ko na kinuha. Kasi yung mga shades, very pink yung mga highlights. Is sobrang gold pa niya. Sobrang, sobrang, sobrang gold. Hindi, hindi siya magbablend sa skin ko. I know. And meron silang isang white. As in, frosty, super, super white na highlight. So, hindi ko bet yung um, shade selection. Hence, I I just skip that. So, next one is the Milk Milk Tint. Milk Tint Tinted Moisturizer. Hindi ko alam kung meron ba silang ano, foundation. Tinted Moisturizer yung nakalagay. Pero sa sa description niya, it's a foundation and sunblock in one. Unang-una, sa description, it's a tinted moisturizer. So, this is not a this is not a foundation. Pero nandito foundation. And second, sunblock daw siya. Pero wala akong makita ang claim na meron siyang SPF or something. So, it's a bit shady. Bakit nila sinabi na foundation and sunblock? 
where in fact it's a tinted moisturizer and it, there's no SPF. At least walang nakaklaim na SPF. Ano silang dalawang shade which sucks kasi dalawa lang yung shade sana dagdagan pa nila. Vanilla and Mocha. I got the Mocha one. Vanilla mas mapute ka so parang sobrang yellowish naman siya sa akin. Okay siya kasi for travel. Yung iba kasi 30 ml sobrang OA sa laki pero ito at least maliit lang siya. Next, I bought the concealer. Ito naman sa concealer kinuha ko si Vanilla kasi nga under eye so I want my under eyes to be a little bit brighter than my face. So yeah, kinuha ko si Vanilla. It's the typical cushion cushion concealer, a meow liner. Ito yung um tinatry nila na merong stamper like that. So meron siyang pang stamp ng pang wing mo and then on the other side meron yung usual eyeliner. And then I got two for the lips. Well, meron silang mga lip and shake tint. Actually, marami silang lip and shake tint doon. Merong naka-tube, merong creamy, meron yung conventional na may roll on something. So, yun. Kinuha ko si Shaker kasi it reminds me of the Lancome one and uh, wala ako makitang seller ng Lancome na ganun and wala akong balak bumili kasi sigurado mahal yun. It's called the Unicorn Shaker. Now, I don't know why they called this Unicorn Shaker because wala naman siyang kaganap-ganap na unicorn sa kanya. Walang mukha ng unicorn, walang kulay ng unicorn or something. Pero yun. Kinuha ko si number 3. It's the orange one. Si number 1 and si number 2 medyo pinkish and reddish. Pero kinuha ko si orange kasi wala pa akong tint na orange. This is what it looks like. Swatch natin. It's just an everyday shade. Excited akong gamitin to kasi mahilig ako sa mga orange. I don't know. Mahilig ako sa orange for the lips. It smells really good. Lahat to guys. Amoy, amoy vanilla. Amoy, amoy cake. Amoy siyang icing. Kaya sobrang tamis ng mga amoy nila. As in. This one is A plus para sa packaging. Ang ganda ng packaging niya. Meron siyang frosted packaging right here. Pati itong cup is frosty and sobrang dainty ng itsura kasi kulay pink yung cap and all that. Kaso guys, wala siyang parang nagamit na siya kasi wala siyang seal. Hindi siya naka-seal. Wala siyang plastic seal. Wala siyang box. So ganun. And yung nakuha ko parang gamit na. As in, I know. I know. Alam ko kapag nagamit na yung liquid lipstick. Sa tagal kong nagbubukas ng mga bagong makeup. Alam ko kapag bagong bukas siya or nagamit na siya. And yung binigay sa akin ni ate is mukhang nagamit na. As in, meron nag-smudge na siya all over here. Meron na siyang Ayun, meron na siyang tint doon and kakabukas ko lang nito kahapon. Hindi ko pa nga siya na-try. So, medyo na-disappoint ako doon. Sana naman lang i-box siya ng skin potions or lagyan siya ng like cling wrap or something para alam alam natin na bagong bagong bukas siya. So, that's it for the haul, guys. Ang dami kong na-haul. Ang dami kong uutangin na naman na videos. Uh, mga skin potions na to, pahapyaw pa lang ito kasi nangako ako sa aking sarili ayan, na mag-invest na ako or magtatry na ako ng local brands. Kasi last year halos kung hindi man siya drugstore, uh, high-end siya, tas mabibili lang siya sa US. Mahilig kasi ako mag-online shopping. So yun, I, I rarely shop sa mall. Pero ngayon, this year, I'm going to try a lot of local brands. Again, I want you guys to comment below kung ano yung gusto niyong unahin ko. Do you want me guys to do swatches, like swip, uh, lip swatches of the Maybelline? Yung skin potions ba? Try ba natin si Bella brushes? Kayo, ano bang gusto ninyong mangyari? Ayan. So just comment it down below and yeah. You know the drill, guys. Please like this video. Uh, I will wait for your comments now. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Also click the little bell button for notifications. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Always remember, be beautiful. Be you. Bye. Dun sa aking vlog, I already used it. Wait lang. Recently, nag-release nag, uh, sila ng Bare Essentials. Al Althea, I think, alamas uh, na... Velvet Pelt. Pwede tayong gumawa ng tutorial. Pwede tayong gumawa ng... Yeah. Kung ano pwede gawin dyan. <laughs> so, ito pala yung ibang Too Faced. O, meron ako ni... Ito, si... Ano ba tawag dito? Hindi ko kasi anong tawag dito, eh. Yan. Uh, Nakakadismaya yung kulay. Um... Ah... Uh,